News. Well, joining us now is the Conservative MP, Tim Lawton. Welcome to you indeed. This is obviously a terrible set of circumstances. A man who the British government helped release uh, from Guantanamo paid compensation to ending up as a suicide bomber, killing not only himself, but we understand a number yeah. uh, of troops uh, as well on, on, on the other side. But can anybody be blamed? Well, I think there's some serious questions to be asked. I mean, this is extraordinary that somebody who was released from Guantanamo Bay by lobbying by the British government back in 2004, along with four others, was described by David Blunkett at the time as not posing a security threat to British people. And yet yesterday we find him having been in Syria for at least two years, apparently, blowing himself up now in Iraq with a, an undisclosed number of, no, but I mean, of, I, of casualties. Well, let's take this step by step. I mean, as far as his release from Guantanamo Bay is concerned, the British government never supported Guantanamo Bay. This was detention without trial. This was a British citizen right, surely, to get him released. Uh, whether it was right to get him released, when he came back to the UK, what security steps were taken to monitor his activities subsequently, we don't know. No, that's we it. need to have those questions answered. But what will really rankle with people in this country is the fact not only was he released and free and at liberty now to cause a terrorism uh, act, as he did yesterday, but the taxpayer have subbed him to the tune of a million pounds. Why? How? Where's that money gone? Will the taxpayer well, get their money back? I think we don't know for sure it was a million pounds, do we? Although it's Up not, to a million pounds it's has not been 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 denied. And we need to know. But again, if someone is detained without trial with the collusion of the British authorities, which is what he claimed, and we know that British intelligence authorities were at Guantanamo Bay, then you may absolutely hate what this man stands for, but uh, our system says compensation should be paid, doesn't well, it? Well, we need to have full transparency. I mean, I don't know all the details, you don't know all the details no. of exactly on the basis of uh, how he was paid this money, exactly what amount of money he was paid, whether any conditions were attached to it, and how he was monitored when he was in the UK and then when he went to, uh, to Syria. He clearly was a terrorist threat. Clearly David Blunkett was wrong when he said there was no security risk to British people when he came back from Guantanamo Bay. Why did he make that statement and how was he monitored subsequently and has he been responsible for anything else behind the scenes that well, we don't know about as well? Given that he, was a, he wasn't convicted of anything at that stage, could we have prevented him from going back to the war zone? Well, the problem is, because of the way we monitor our borders over the last um, few years, we have not known who has been leaving the country. Now, that's why the Home Affairs Select Committee, which I sit on, has been pressing for some time that we have proper monitoring of people leaving the, uh, the country. That is now happening. It should have been happening much, much sooner. So we know who is at uh, potential risk to the British people, who's in the country and who's not in the country, where they've, uh, where they've gone. We've got to monitor our borders much better. And clearly, mm. people like this who do pose a risk, did pose a risk, and committed this... Uh, tragic accident, not an accident, tragic uh, uh, act uh, yesterday, um, how was he allowed to be at liberty for so long? Now, this was the previous government. What information do you need, can you get through Parliament about this case? Well, I think a full assessment of why he was released and at liberty when he came back from Guantanamo Bay in 2004, what monitoring went on by our security services, what his movements were, what organisations he might have been uh, involved with, whether it's suspected he was part of any other terrorist uh, attacks for which he wasn't uh, uh, caught in this uh, country, and what intelligence was shared with other authorities, um, Americans, Iraqis or whatever, when he left this country apparently in 2014 and uh, went to Syria and then on to um, Iraq. We know very little about this, how many others who have been suspected of terrorism have been in Guantanamo uh, Bay, are at liberty, and are they being properly monitored? Mr. Lawton, thank you very much indeed.